Hello, everyone. I'm Bixin Tang from UC Berkeley. I'm happy to share my research, our research on efficient and compact spreadsheet formula graphs. Spreadsheets are one of the most popular tools for data analysis. With a user base as large as 1 billion, they have been widely adopted across different domains, including health, finance, and science. The major reason for spreadsheet's popularity is the in-situ programming environment where users can express their computations by writing formulas alongside with the data. Here, each formula takes the computed results of other formulas or the raw values and input, which create the dependencies across different formula cells. These, these dependencies are tracked using a formula graph. Consider the simple but real spreadsheet. Here, N2, a formula at N2 copies the value of M2. So the dependency between M2 and N2 is added to the formula graph. We call M2 president and N2 dependent for this dependency. N3 takes uh, A2, A3, N2, and M3 as input. So the corresponding dependencies are added to the formula graph. Other dependencies are added to the formula graph in the same way. Formula graphs are widely adopted in several spreadsheet applications, and the performance of querying the formula graph is critical to the interactivity of spreadsheets. One, exa one example application is formula recalculation, where the if the view if the user uh, modifies the value of a cell, the system needs to find all of the formulas that depend on that cell and recalculate the corresponding formulas. Therefore, in this application, finding dependence a, of a cell is critical to the uh, performance of processing cell updates. Another application is tracing and visualizing formula dependencies. In some uh, real-world spreadsheet systems, such as Excel or NeverCalc, they provide tools for finding dependence or presence of a cell such that users can check the accuracy of, of the formula or detect potential errors. In this application, binding independence and or precedence is also critical to the performance of spreadsheets. Unfortunately, real-world spreadsheets include large and complex formula graphs, where a cell has a large number of dependents or precedence. Therefore, we to show this a uh, result we have evaluated to uh, two real world data sets. The first one is Enron data set, which includes the spreadsheet from the Enron Corporation. And the second one is the GitHub, which includes the real spreadsheets that are crawled from GitHub. For the formula graph of each spreadsheet, we report the max number of dependents of a cell at the length of the longest path. And also, and report their distributions. We see that in many spreadsheets, the max number of dependents at the length of the longest path is larger than 10,000. In an extreme case, the number of dependents of a single cell is up to 300,000, and the path in the formula graph is as long as 200,000 hedges. So the problem is that finding dependents and presence in the large and complex formula graph can take a long time. Interestingly, interestingly, we can explore a key property in spreadsheets, which we call tablet locality, to compress the formula graphs and reduce the time of querying the graphs. This property represents that formulas are close to each other, have similar structures. <coughs> Consider this example. The formula starting from N3 follow the same pattern, where each formula references the cell in the same row or the row above in column A, and then references the cell to the left and the cell above. <clears throat> Therefore, we can compress this formula graph into four edges where each edge stores the constant size information for restoring the uncompressed edges. 
for the first edge, for the first compressed edge, for example, it will represent the uncompressed edges as an eye depending on mi, where i varies from 2 to 69, 49. The two nodes of the compressed edge include, uh, will cover the presence and dependence of the uncompressed edges. To exploit this tabular locality, we we'll propose TOCO, tabular locality based formula graph compression. TOCO includes four basic four patterns for capturing tabular locality, where each pattern can compress multiple edges into one. And also, each pattern supports the key functions for building, querying, and maintaining the compressed edge. Finally, we have designed algorithms that utilize the key functions to efficiently compress, query, and maintain the formula graphs. In this talk, let me start with the toggle patterns and the algorithms for implementing the key functions. Toggle patterns consider compressing the dependencies of adjacent formula cells. For each pattern, it assumes each formula uh, each formula only has one reference range. But the toggle framework can apply this uh, the toggle patterns multiple times to compress the case when a formula has multiple referenced ranges. Each range is determined by two cells, the head cell, which is on the left top, and the tail cell, which, which is on the right bottom. Let me start with the basic patterns and use and then introduce one extended pattern later. The first pattern is called relative plus relative, or RR, which means each formula cell has the same relative positions with respect to its referenced ranges, head and tail cell. For this example, the head cell of the reference range is in the same row and in column A, and the tail cell is in column B and two rows below. Therefore, the reference ranges are like uh, sliding windows. So we can compress these reference ranges or the dependencies by storing the relative positions and uh, uh, and uh, the range this pattern applies to. The precedent and, this, and dependent of this compressed range of compressed edge cover the referenced ranges and formula cells respectively. The second pattern is called relative plus fixed or RF, which means each formula cell has the same relative position with respect to the head cell and references a fixed tail cell. For this example, C1 references A1 before, C2 references A2 before, and so on, like shrinking windows. Therefore, we can uh, represent these uh, reference ranges or dependencies as C CI depending on AI before, where I varies from one to four. Symmetrically, we have another pattern called fixed plus relative, which means each formula cell has the same uh, fixed reference for the head cell and also has the same relative position with respect to the tail cell. Therefore, their reference ranges are like expanding windows. Finally, the last pattern is called fixed plus fixed, or FF, where each formula cell references the same uh, the same reference as uh, the same range. With those patterns defined, let me discuss the algorithms for supporting the key functions. In this talk, I will focus on the uh, the function of finding dependence for an input range in a compressed edge. The idea is to leverage the metadata information in the compressed edge, like the relative positions or the fixed reference to find the dependence at a constant time, which is independent of the size of the input range. This way we can directly, we can significantly reduce the time for finding dependence. Consider this example, um, the reference ranges follow the sliding windows where C1 references A1, B3, C2 references A2, B4, and so on. Here we want to find the dependence, output dependence of the input range A3, A4, and uh, recall that the formula cells are adjacent. We only consider the adjacent formula cells, and therefore the output dependence 
of an input range will also be a range. They will, so we only need to find the first and the last cell of the output dependence. For the first cell of output dependence, its reference range it should just overlap with the first cell of the input range like this. Therefore, we can back calculate the first cell of the output dependence using the relative positions in the compressed edge. So in, for this case, we'll back, calcul back calculate C1 from A3. Similarly, for the last cell of the output dependence, uh, they should just overlap with the last cell of the input range because it is a slide, sliding window. So uh, we can back calculate C4 using A4. In addition to the aforementioned patterns, we have uh, identified an extended pattern to further reduce the time of the response time uh, of file independence and precedence. This pattern considers a column of formulas where each formula references the cell above or below. Like in this example, each formula references the cell above. We can compress these dependencies using RR, but direct using RR's key function to query this formula, to query this uh, compressed edge is not sufficient because we need to walk through the whole chain. Consider this example of binding dependence of A1, then we, need, we will return A2 and then query this compressed edge again to return A3 and so on. Therefore, uh, we introduce another pattern, which is a special pattern of RR called RR chain to um, accelerate and uh, or find the all of the dependence for this chain directly without walking through the whole chain. For this example, we just return A2, A4 uh, without having to walk through the chain. Finally, we have uh, designed algorithms that utilize the key functions for the call for the call for the TACO framework, and we will focus on finding dependence. Finding dependence is supported by the algorithms of by a modified BFS algorithm. Similar to BFS, we'll start with the input range and recursively find direct dependence. And use a use a queue to check the nodes to be visited. But there are two major differences. The first is that each node is a range. Therefore, we need to find the overlapping ranges uh, for an input range. The second is that each edge is a compressed one. Therefore, we need to, when finding direct dependence in this compressed edge, we need to find the real part of this uh, direct dependence in the compressed, uh, compressed edge. Let me use an example to show the two differences. Here, we want to find the dependence of A2. As shown earlier, we need to find the overlapping range of A2, which is A2, A6948. After we use the RR's key function to find the real dependent of A2, which is A3, which is N3 in this case, we will repeat this process and find the direct, real direct dependence of N3 using the um, RR chains key function, which will return N4 and 69.49. By contrast, finding dependence in an uncompressed form graph will access many more edges and reduce the and uh, uh, have a much longer response time. Let's look at the experiments. First, we evaluate the sizes of form graphs of different approaches. Compared to TACO, we have two baselines. First, we have a low comp, which adopts uncompressed form graphs. And TACO in row is to compress the dependencies for the formulas that only reference the cells in the same row. We will report the total number of nodes and edges for the, for the form, formula graphs in each data set. We see that TACO significantly reduces the number of nodes and edges compared to the two baselines. The next experiment evaluates the effectiveness of TACO patterns. We report the um, total number of edges reduced by each pattern for a data set, and also report the max number of edges reduced by each pattern for a single spreadsheet. 
we see that ROR and FF are very effective in reducing the number of edges. FR and RF are less effective as the previous two patterns, but are still effective in reducing a larger number of edges for a single spreadsheet. For example, FR can reduce uh, around 39,000 edges for one spreadsheet. RR chain is prevalent in real world spreadsheets and uh, can reduce around 400,000 edges for one spreadsheet. Finally, I will report the time for fight independence. For the former graph of each spreadsheet, we use a cell that has the max number of dependents in the spreadsheet. We report the cumulative distribution function for the time of fight independence. We see that TACO overall has much smaller response time than NoComp, and TACO uh, has up to 167 milliseconds but while no comp has up to 49 seconds. To make talk usable, we have implemented plugin in Microsoft Excel to help end users explore or uh, visualize formal graphs using the talk representation. There are still many things not covered in this talk, but I'm happy to discuss them offline or in the QA session. Finally, to summarize, we identify key property in spreadsheets called tablet locality and develop framework that leverages the uh, key property to efficiently compress, query, and maintain formula graphs. Thanks for listening. I'd like to take any questions.